Hey everybody, it's Kathy, and in today's video, 10 style mistakes that make you look older, I'm going to share 10 easy style hacks that you can implement into your life very easily that make you look maybe just a little fresher than your actual age. There's absolutely nothing wrong with aging. I embrace it. But if I can make myself look a little refreshed, then I don't see anything wrong with that. Aging should be embraced. It is a gift that is denied to many, many people. And those of us that are here should really embrace it and live every day to our fullest. I will link any products that I mention in the description box below. And I hope that you enjoy my video. So the first style mistake that can make us look a little older is wearing oversized or clunky shoes. I realize that some of us have to wear orthotics as we get older. I myself have flat feet. I don't have prescription orthotics. However, I do buy shoes that do have orthotic footbed already in them. But just because we have to wear an orthotic or a special type of shoe, it doesn't mean that we can't look stylish. As you can see from the example that I'm showing you, the bigger shoe, the sandal, which I own and which I wear daily. I'm not saying that you have to, you know, throw out all of your shoes and not wear what you have, but it's just if you want to like pop your outfit a little bit, you can see that the, the shoe on the right just kind of refreshes the outfit. So that's what these style tip videos are all about. They're not like go and burn your wardrobe. I'm just trying to help you see a different way of maybe mixing and matching things that you already own or maybe adding things into your wardrobe just to kind of refresh it or, you know, make it more modern. The second style mistake that is often overlooked when we get older is that we don't even out our complexion. As we get older, we get a little more red in the face. That could be rosacea. It's just a sign of aging. Could be high blood pressure. You could have melasma or different dark spots appearing. So a quick and easy way to kind of even out your complexion and make the redness disappear is just by wearing a light BB or CC cream throughout the day. My favorite go-to BB cream this summer has been the one by L'Oreal, the anti-redness BB cream. And it really just elevates my face and makes me look fresh and not so tired, hide the redness, mask any discoloration in my face. So just doing that little simple step every day or whenever you're going out can really help you to look fresher. The next thing that really is so, so important, and if you only take one thing away from my 10 tips, is doing your eyebrows. As we age, our eyebrows get thin and sparse. Eyebrows are so important because they frame your face. They are the focal point showing your beautiful eyes and we use our eyes to communicate. So we really want to draw attention to our eyes. And if you have an apple body shape like me where you might have a larger belly, you want to draw attention away from your belly upwards. So by framing your face, by doing your eyebrows, you really will look fresh and refreshed. And it's such a simple thing to do. My all-time favorite eyebrow pencil is the one by It Cosmetics, and I think that it's a great starter pencil if you haven't been doing your eyebrows because it works on pressure. So if you want darker brows, you just press harder, and if you want them lighter, you just gently stroke your brows on. It's really easy, it's a great pencil, and it stays on all day. It's sweat-proof, and it will not budge. So eyebrows are so, so important. Another thing I feel that is often overlooked, and it is our style mistake number four, is not updating our eyeglasses. I have to wear glasses like 100% of the time now because I have bad vision close up and bad vision for far away. It's so annoying because I'm so sick of wearing glasses. I do wear contact lenses, I have them in today. So a way of updating your look, you can find lots of really cool and updated frames. Personally, I like to stay away from black. I find black is very harsh as I'm getting older. And with my coloring, my hair color, I find that the color tortoise is a nice color for my frames. So as you can see the don't picture, those glasses are like something from the 70s. And the glasses that I'm currently wearing are updated and stylish. And no, the don't frames do not belong to me. I know an eye doctor and I asked to borrow some really old frames to make my point. Think of your glasses as a fashion accessory. You know, it's just a way of expressing your personality and that's, I like to have fun with my glasses. 
So I would like to ask a favor of you. I am trying to get to 40,000 subscribers. And if you could help me by clicking that subscribe button, it would mean the world to me. And I just want to say thank you. Our fifth style mistake that may be making you look older is your hair. It's really important to keep the dead ends of our hair trimmed and our hair looking shiny and healthy because shiny hair, it just exudes the glow of youthfulness and healthy hair. I like to use a clarifying shampoo at least once a week, but I make sure that I also use it the evening before I go to get my hair colored and my highlights done. And what it is, it's just a special shampoo. You don't use it every day but it just strips away any product buildup that may be in your hair or any hard water or rust that might be in your water. And it really does a nice job. I just put it on when I first get in the shower. I let it sit in my hair, it kind of bubbles up. And after three or four minutes, I rinse it out and my hair is squeaky clean and it really helps to prolong my hair color as well. Years ago, my hairstylist told me that it's really the front of your haircut that makes the most impact. Like people, if they're looking at you, they can't see your hair behind your head, obviously. But I had always wanted to grow longer hair, but I can't because my hair is so, so thick and so coarse and it gets so frizzy with humidity that it just doesn't look right. And I will insert a picture here if you wanna have a good chuckle. I don't know what I was thinking, but <laughs> as you can see, as I've aged, I have implemented some of my uh, style tips. Long hair doesn't suit everybody, it doesn't suit me, but if you do have long hair, if you have any length of hair, it's really important to keep your dead ends clipped just to make your hair style look fresh. Tip number six is get a good supportive bra, and I have a bra video coming out within the next week. It's going to be my next upload, so make sure that you are subscribed and click that notification bell because so many of you have written to me and asked me to do a bra video. So I put a lot of research into that video and I hope that you're all gonna tune in and watch it when it goes live in a few days. I recommend getting fitted at least once a year. I don't live in a city big enough that has a place where you can go and get fitted, but I will occasionally drive to Nordstrom and I will get fitted normally during the anniversary sale. But just a little tip, I know they like to tell you the Nordstrom anniversary sale is the only time you're gonna get stuff on sale. That is not true. I shop from Nordstrom throughout the year. They always have sales on. As a matter of fact, I bought a bra the day following the Nordstrom sale this year that was actually on sale after the sale. It wasn't on sale during the sale. So don't despair. Nordstrom's is great to deal with. And if you're in Canada, you may not be aware, they have free shipping and free returns. So if you can get in for a bra fitting, I recommend that you get one because our size changes and it fluctuates a lot. Like if you put on weight, if you lose weight, if you're pregnant, um, if you have surgery, there's so many things that can make our breast size change. So it's really important to wear a supportive bra and it's really important daily whenever you put your bra on to make sure that your straps are tightened. You just wanna elevate the girls and honestly, it's going to make you look 10 pounds slimmer. It really truly is. Okay, this tip may be controversial, but it's something that I used to do actually in my 20s and 30s, and I know it kind of looks nice, but it is kind of aging, and that is when you have matchy-matchy sweater sets. If you like that look, cool. I would instead opt for a longer cardigan that isn't so matchy-matchy, because if you are petite, 5'4 or under petite, just refers to our height that doesn't have anything to do with our body shape. It's going to actually make you look a little taller and I just think that it makes you look a little more in style. It's just more updated. I know we have a tendency, we want things matchy-matchy. Same thing with, you know, uh, jewelry sets. I know I used to be fall victim to this. I would go to a store and you know, they try and upsell you at the cash register. How about this matching necklace and earring set? But that's kind of outdated now. It's something that I don't practice anymore. And I just wanted to mention that. Okay, so this next one is probably going to be controversial as well. But if you just hear me out, you may change your mind about it. And it's tunic tops. I'm not saying don't wear tunic tops, okay? But you have to wear the certain type of tunic tops. 
and I think probably later in the fall as it gets colder I'm going to try and do a video on leggings with tunic tops but when you are petite and if you wear a tunic top that is like way too long or too large it is not a nice look so a way to update this is you want to get a tunic top that is shorter at the right cut that almost I would say the hip bone like I know we want to hide our larger belly if, if that's a problem area for us like it is for me but if I was to wear a tunic top that is halfway down the length of my thigh it's kind of like capris but in reverse like tip me upside down and now I'm cutting my thigh in half and it's really making my legs look short and stubby so it's not a good look but if you are taller than five foot four, you're probably not watching this video because I'm petite. But if you're taller, it may look flattering on you, but for most people it doesn't. But if you want to wear your tunic, totally get it. Just tuck it in like I'm showing you. You can still wear the tunic. You can still get the coverage on your behind. You still get a little bit of coverage on the sides, but just by doing a simple front tuck, it really elevates your look. Now I know some of you don't feel comfortable doing a front tuck because you feel that it does emphasize your belly. And I totally understand that. Like sometimes I feel that way as well, but just try it at home in front of your mirror. Try it like wearing it like you normally do and then just do a little bit of a tuck and let me know how it works for you because you may, you know, realize it actually does help to hide the belly a little bit and look a little slimmer. Number nine is wearing all black. Black is my friend. If I was to show you my closet, my closet is like probably 90% black. The reason why I like black, well, I always buy black bottoms just because they're slimming. They're easy to match with black shoes. And if you match your pants with your shoes, you know, it elongates your leg, makes you look taller. But I, what I have found probably in the last three or four years that if I wear black from, you know, top to bottom, it's kind of like washes me out and it's not a good look on me. So if I still want to wear black, and sometimes I do, what I'll do is maybe put a scarf or just something here with color. It just kind of breaks up the black so it, it's not so harsh looking because if I just wear all black, I just look like pasty and I don't know, tired and worn out. So what I'll do now is I'll still wear my black bottoms, but maybe I'll wear a navy top or I'll maybe wear a black shirt. But like I said, I'll wear like a scarf. And the last style mistake that we sometimes make, and I'm guilty of this, wearing loose baggy clothing. And I get it. When we're carrying a little bit of extra weight, the first thing we want to do is hide and cover ourselves. But that's actually the worst thing we can do because it just makes us look bigger and we just look like I don't know, uh, we just look big. It, it doesn't do anything to define our body. So don't wear skin tight clothing because that's going to the opposite extreme and you're gonna look like a sausage then. But just wear clothing that fits you properly, that just gently glides over your body because it's really going to make you look slimmer. And it's going, if you wear proper fitting clothing, it's gonna give your body definition. Because remember, when you are petite, we want to use the optical illusion of making ourselves look taller, but also look thinner by implementing some of these tips that I have shared with you today. I hope that you've enjoyed my video, 10 style mistakes that make you look older. Be sure to check out my playlist that I have lots of fashion tips for petite women and for apple body shaped women. And make sure you're subscribed because I have a lot of fashion videos coming up for fall. So thanks so much for spending time with me today and I'll see you soon. Bye.